Hey, what's up, y'all? This your boy David Lucas, man. This is how much I really mess with y'all as my fans and people that have subscribed to my YouTube. I am currently in a Starbucks. All I hear is ice. I smell coffee, which I hate. I hate Starbucks. I, I don't even like Starbucks, but I'm using a free Wi-Fi. Uh, I am still in a Wi-Fi. As you can hear that coffee machine in the background and this little uh, Pride Month music that they playing, I, I don't give a damn about it. I don't want to cheese Danish. I don't want to espresso, latte, chai tea, matcha, uh, decaf, almond milk, light ice, Vente, caffeine free coffee. I don't want none of that full. But anyway, uh, yeah, man, make sure y'all go check the new website. It's new and updated, man. Shout out to my boy Brian. Uh, he just updated the website, DavidLucasComedy.com. We got plenty of tour dates, dog. We got plenty of tour dates. Look at that. We got uh, Poughkeepsie, New York. If you're in New York, make sure you grab them down tickets July 10th. Uh, July 9th, we're in Poughkeepsie. July 10th, we're in Brooklyn, New York. July 15th. I'm in Chicago, August 12th through the 13th. I'm in San Antonio, September 14th. I'm in Baltimore, Maryland, September the 18th. I'm in Richmond, Virginia at uh, Sandman Comedy Club. I got a few more that we got to update with. Uh, I'm also in Macon, Georgia on September, I mean, uh, July 17th. And I'm in somewhere else, uh, Ontario, California, July 30th or 31st, one of those dates. But I'll let your boy. But, um, man, this new video uh, is about a guy I actually grew up listening to and uh, a guy y'all probably grew up listening to. As you know, during the quarantine, we couldn't go to concerts and a lot of stuff got shut down. And Swiss Beats and Timbaland, they made a way for us to have concerts at our house. So they uh, came in with the versus battles where they would have, you know, artists of old and new generations set up battles against each other. Uh, battles against each other, not necessarily, like, competitive, but just, just, like, show your catalog. I mean, some artists made it competitive and some didn't. But uh, this, this next clip is a guy uh, I really loved growing up, and I'm sure all the ladies loved him. Uh, Omarion. He was on stage eating the water, man. Look at this. <coughs> him and his brother, Orion. Look, like, bro, come on, bro. It, it, come on, bro. Drop the button down for me and just say, oh. Come on, man. You just set black people back 300 years. You just took us back to slavery, dog. You, Kamala Harris, and Joe Biden are solely responsible if we go back to slavery next year, which I won't be mad at these white people. They put us back in slavery, dog. I really won't. Because y'all on stage, chest out, belly button out, glasses on, eating watermelon. Why don't you start tap dancing, bro? We just celebrated Juneteenth. We just celebrated the day that a lot of black slaves realized they was free, and y'all gonna get on stage and eat watermelon. Like, I almost wish the versus battle was canceled after this. Like, I, I don't even want to be black no more. Can I identify as white? Y'all got on stage eating watermelon. I want to identify as a 300-pound white man from now on. Don't call me David anymore. Call me Dave. Call me Dave Luca. I identify as a white male with great credit, one child, and the baby mom I'm married to. I don't even want to be black anymore. Like, what are they doing, bro? They out here eating watermelon. Where's the fried chicken? Talk about going towards a stereotype. This, look at his face, bro. He's enjoying it, too. Like, what is sexy about that? Like, because you're not imitating going down on a girl because the moment you start using teeth on a girl, she's going to be like, get your clown ass up. Did this turn any girl on? Did any girl find this appeasing? Did any girl get wet from this? It, it, it's like it's like when girls show videos of them swallowing balloons and swallowing, balloon, swallowing balloons and bananas. I don't get that as a turn on. Uh, I get scared because I, I don't want you to swallow my whole thing. I really don't. And they out here eating watermelon. Oh, Marion's eating watermelon. This is what it came to. This versus battle was sponsored by 40 ounce malt liquor. Watermelon. Oh, Marion looked like the type of dude that wear air fresheners around his neck as cologne. He probably got that new car smell or, or leather <laughs> or that black ice. Oh, Marion looked like he'll wear a black ice car freshener <laughs> as cologne. This fool out here in leather eating the watermelon. 
For a lot of y'all who don't know, Orion is Janae Aiko's baby mom, and I, I hope she increased his child support after seeing him eat watermelon on stage. I hope his child support went up by a thousand dollars a month, bro. You just ate watermelon on stage. White people, I just want you to know, Omarion and Orion, I don't even really care for watermelon too much. I'd rather have blueberries. Maybe I am a white man. I like blueberries. I like blueberries. Blueberries have antioxidants, but you know what they say about watermelon? They say watermelon has something that I can't really remember that increases the size of your penis. So, of course, you know, it fits the stereotype because black men tend to have... I mean, I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a woman, but, I mean, they say that black men got the third legs, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> we got the third legs because we eat a lot of watermelon and fried chicken and we drink malt liquor. Like, would you... But it's like we, we have a, a shorter life expectancy, right? So, like, would you give up 20 years of your life to have a, a longer... Dang a line. <laughs> White men, right now, I want you to answer me that question. Would you give up 20 years... If they told you you live to be 98, but you only live... If you were going to live to be 98, but they said we'll take 20 years off, so you'll live to be 78 if we just give you a three-inch penis. Would you take that offer? <laughs> would you take it, White men? I want to know right now. Because these fools just dance. Why not bring a girl on stage and have her twerk on you? Who's what? Who in wardrobe or who in set design said, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get a whole watermelon. And it, on Mario, I'm probably asked for an organic watermelon, seedless. I don't want to choke on the seeds. He asked for an organic watermelon, and he decided to go on stage. Hey, cut that mug and have. Get my brother one fourth, give me one fourth, and we're gonna go on stage and say to these ladies and eat that watermelon. Yeah. <laughs> Look at these niggas. <laughs> you Kool Aid fried chicken eating. <laughs> cancel Juneteenth. Y'all just, y'all just cancel Juneteenth right there, bro. I ain't celebrating no more black holidays. Black History Month is canceled next February because of Omarion and Orion. What is y'all? And then look how he reached down so seductively to grab that watermelon. Hey, come here, girl. I'm going to eat you like a watermelon. With no seeds, of course. <laughs> Let me eat that thing like a watermelon. Yeah. <laughs> what were they thinking? <laughs> I feel like Tyrese, I feel, as a black man, I feel like that Tyrese video that was out a few years ago, what do you want from me? <laughs> Bro, I'm going to need my producer to get, uh, I need to bring up, I need to bring up Mario and Anna Ryan on my podcast and ask them, like, what, okay, you ate a watermelon, dog, like, why? Why, bro, like, why? Like, why'd you eat a watermelon, dog? Out of all the fruits, cantaloupe, honeydew, papayas, anything else, bro. What's the one all them vegans eat that they, what's the one that all them vegans eat uh, and they, jackfruit. All them vegans turn that jackfruit into meat. You could have brought a jackfruit on there, bro. You know what You know what would have been sexier if you like went out there and like had somebody split the watermelon over your body and then, like, you started rubbing yourself with the watermelon juice, and then you had a girl come, like, lick the seeds up and spit them out into your brother's mouth. Like, and then, like, your brother caught it. I'll always catch you, girl. I'll always have you. I'll never let you fall. <laughs> that would have been sexy, though. <laughs> that would have been hella sexy. But y'all decided to come out here and eat watermelon. It ain't even 4th of July yet, bro. Where you find these watermelons at? Look at that. Girls, I want to know. Did this turn you on? I, I really want to know from the girls. Uh, would this turn you on? Let me see if I can find a, a girl. Hey, ain't no girls. In. Come get this. Should I? Should I ask this random white guy studying uh, if he can? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Can you be on my live stream for a second? Can you be on my live stream for a second? Yeah, for like 30 seconds. We got one. All right, man. Oh, you work at Starbucks? I do. I oh, do. you work at Starbucks. All right, what's your name? Oh, you got to come with her in the camera. What's your name? Brent. 
Brent? Yeah, yeah. All right, this is Brent. Hey, Brent, I'm going to show you a clip. So, do you know who Omarion is? Okay, he don't know who Omarion is. He's an R&B singer. Hey, Brian, can you play that clip right fast? So, these guys... All right. These guys are R&B singers, and they decided to be sexy by bringing a watermelon on stage. And I guess them eating the watermelon was supposed to show women how they would eat them. But do you think that women would find that sexy? All right. <laughs> See, he, he's... <laughs> I, don't, I think it's overkill, right? I think that's a little... Yeah, it's that's too much, right? Yeah, yeah. It's way too much, bro. And they're black. And we just had Juneteenth. Do you feel like they just set black people back 200 years? I think, I think that's a rough, that's, 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 <laughs> that's, he try to He tried to keep his job, y'all. He don't want to yeah, say too yeah, much. Yeah. He's, he's like, man, if I can't come make these cappuccinos in the morning, I, I won't have nothing to live for. So he's he's trying to he's trying to keep that, that job. I get it, bro. I get it. He got his, y'all can say, but he got a nose ring, and uh, he's trying to keep that job. He's trying to stay safe. He don't, he don't, he don't, he don't, he ain't really want his face on the camera. He's just trying to, he's trying to stay neutral in the whole situation. But I'm going to let y'all know right now, that was a dumbass thing that Omarion and Orion did. Very dumb. Very dumb. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Uh, this video, Jesus Christ. All right, man, y'all be easy. Love y'all. And uh, I'm on the road. I should be back in Georgia tonight. Uh, yeah, dog. Peace.